I mean, it, it's great. So, <laughs> but I have strong feelings about this one. <laughs> good. Oh, my, yeah. my my problem with this question is that if I don't like an anime, I don't watch it. Why? Uh, see, I gotta finish it. Like, uh, unless it, unless you it, watch it. You know, like you guys are like seriously like, hey, get through like the first three episodes. You're like, at least do this. Wait, so what's your cutoff point? Morris says same. same. He does. I guess you're saying you don't watch anime that you don't like. Yeah. yeah. Like, what's your cutoff point? <sighs> I, it I, can't be after one episode. No, mine's five at least. I, I, I actually oh, so I tend to enjoy good, most though. anime that I do watch. Four to five. Um, because like I'll I'll actually like. If it doesn't See, grab in the first two, I'm done. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, fine is this is a three strike policy. That's fair. I find most of my anime based on like scenes from like compilations or montages or like top fights or top whatever, and I'm like, oh, this looks interesting. And like usually when I find them like that, yeah, I invest in it, and yeah. then I I end up finding things that I like out of it, but. I never find anime that I don't like because I'd never try to watch those. Yeah, that's fair. So, like, I had the potential to not like Nisekoi, but I ended up enjoying it. Um, but if we're talking about, like, characters that I hate, I got I got a one or two that I, I really do not care for. But other than that, <laughs> we're good. Sure. Uh, a couple, too. I, I, I hate... Fucking uh, dude from Re Zero. What's his name? Super Subaru. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, okay. he's so no, 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 but like he gets better. But I feel like it's no, he all, doesn't. No, he he realizes his mistakes. He goes back and fixes it. But my thing is like he almost did a complete one eighty. Like I don't see that in most characters. Like it's it's imagining Nick, the way he is now, and like tomorrow. He, I don't know. Turns it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I don't see that actually happening, but he gets better. Like, he really does. He's just, he's got like the worst, He's like, the most realistic main character. You think? I don't know if, he's, he's if very would realistic. would confess to you and that's how you would respond. No, I like, wouldn't respond like that, like, but like, I'm saying on, like, like, in all honesty, he handles it the way that a normal person would handle constantly dying and then coming back to life. I guess, but at the same time, though, it's just like I don't like any of his decision making. He freaked out too bad. Like, he freaked out. He panicked. You know, like, I he... I don't like uh, like a lot of his stuff is like super super rash. I don't like his motivation as well, like in in, in some of the things that he ends up doing. Mm. But like when he randomly challenged that dude to a fight and all that other crap, and then just got his ass handed to him, I was like, whatever. It's just... Team a million. Team Amelia all the way. Yeah. But anyways, the the one anime that I cannot not hate. You can't hate? I cannot not hate. hate. Oh, okay. Double negative. Guilty Crown. I mean, you say I mean, that now after you watched other anime. I hated it even right after I finished watching it, That's though. Wow. I fucking hate Because it. the ending was like okay it started off all right the first few episodes were fine mm -hmm. once you get to the middle part and the end it is absolute shit once you get past the first five episodes it's bullshit mm -hmm. okay well that's I'm, i hate to say it because i love the anime but that's darling in the franks the ending was complete garbage oh it was but what i'm saying is is there are certain aspects of the anime that has so much potential and it let you, you down done. at the very end. And the better. thing is, it all came down to one person. At least with Darling and the Franks, it came around with a group of people. Dude, that I can't tell you how many animes had so much potential. Mirai Nikki had so much potential. Mm. Tokyo Ghoul Death had so much Parade. potential. Death Parade. Death yeah. Parade had such a so, good... Like, it even so much even Dead Man Wonderland like, had some potential. Yeah. It did. It really oh, did. I'm still pissed about Dead Man Wonderland. Oh, yeah. The, like with with Death Parade, like literally, they had so much like backstory ready. They had all these interesting characters. Even like the opener for it was, it was so great. interesting because you're like, oh, we're gonna see all these crazy games. We're gonna see like them doing like all these juggling crap and all this. Like it's so cool. But like honestly, I wouldn't have mind if it was like just like the same scenario over and over again where these people would come in 
and like they did continuations so Wait, I'll be okay with that interject you watch opening so let's say you're watching the first season of One Punch Man you're on episode 3 no, sorry episode 1 you watch the opening do you some some openings I do I, I can't watch good, I can't watch opening. openings especially if it's like sort of oh, okay, opening so, it oh, gives okay. the spoilers away yeah, that, that's I'll, fair I'll watch I usually watch like the opening once or twice whenever a new one uh, pops up and I, and I kind of listen and jam out to it but I've kind of got like this One Piece syndrome to where like they can show all this crazy shit and it doesn't happen whatsoever because yeah. One like, Piece I, they don't they, they don't, don't spoil anything in their intros. Okay, okay. but uh, uh, elicitization completely did. We Thanks got for follow. the follow. Woo! Kirby balls. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> no, what appreciate is that? you. What is that oh, animation though? Uh, it, was zombie, it was a zombie. It was a zombie run. Okay. Because <laughs> we're all zombies. Though. I probably need to recenter that. So. But um, I can't do that right now while we're live. But thanks but for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. Going back to what you said, though, how many shows actually do that, like the spoilers in the intro? Because I feel like a lot of them just show the they're characters so, that will be no, introduced. Are, so yeah. ben, ben can say this. Gaku Kurashi did it. It completely gave it away. Yeah, or, that's fair. Oh, yeah. Because the, I mean, obviously spoilers, but the if you you can look it up on YouTube, there's a video of the comparison of every, every episode. The hmm. intro literally changes as the whole anime gets darker, oh, wow. and it it really does spoil the shit out of a lot of things. Yeah, and like Bo- Boku no Hero, when it showed the day, dun 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 dun, yeah, that opening. Got another hey. follow. Um, Thank you, Morris. Yeah, Thank you, Morris. Another follow. Awesome. We're so rolling in it. So the day, the opening shows the fight between All Might. And what Nomus? It shows oh, that no. fight. Like, come on! Like, but is that really spoiling anything? Like, is he, he wasn't a character until, you know, until he comes in. Though. You know who that main villain for that arc was at that time. Respectable. That's Black Clover does that a lot in their openers. Like yeah, a do. lot. Like they, they show a full season. Oh, just about. <coughs> or I wouldn't even really call it a season, but like a full length of like. 20 episodes within their like openers yeah. I do agree though not everyone everything like Konosuba doesn't do that yeah well I guess the problem is you don't know that you're gonna get spoiled yeah. until it happens which so is why have, I always you have to be on the defensive exactly. you don't and then want also I mean I, I would say that uh, your lie doesn't do that really yeah well, yeah there's only two oh, yeah. there's only one way you could do that yeah. <laughs> um uh Naruto does it kind of bad sometimes. Yes, yes, yeah. yes especially yeah. in Shippuden. Line They're notorious for it. Line was really bad. Naruto's interesting though because they show things that don't in ways that don't actually happen. Like yes. they show like the five Kage facing against Madara, but that is nowhere. The fight itself is nowhere close to how the they fight. portrayed it in the. Uh, well, in the and intro. that is because the yeah. fight in the anime was just uh, decimation. There was no fight. <laughs> <laughs> or like, uh oh, Madara. I'll be right back. Be right back. Face. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Um, he probably just has to handle something. Uh, or like, uh, Madara versus, well, what's the first Hokage's name again? Uh, Hachirama. Uh, Hachirama. Hachirama. Yeah. Like, how they're, like, doing some crazy, like, hand-to-hand shit on a oh, cliff or yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah. Which I think is, like, a really cool animation of that, in- of that opener. I love oh, yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. So, I think you had a question about underrated anime? Uh, yeah, that was, that's coming up. That can, we can talk about that now. Um, so yeah, most underrated underrated anime you've watched or you know about um so something that you like but you feel like is doesn't get enough um, people watching enough it or people. a lot of people just don't like it for some yeah reason. um for me i've i've got to say boruto nice because Be- I, I really enjoy there watching it don't like they it. don't watch it because they're just like no this is bullshit well, i don't I, want i can see why because i feel like boruto is just another extension yeah. from naruto it is, but it's they're developing new characters. Right. They're but, not the right. same. It, right. And right. That's the thing, though. It's one of those things where if people don't watch it in the first place, they feel like it's just the people who created Naruto trying to make more money. That's not wrong, but that doesn't mean that they're not producing a good anime. Right, right. but I think it's also like people that want to see... I, I still want to see Naruto. I still want to see Sasuke. Which is, that, which is why they watch Boruto. Which, which is fine, but yeah. you have to like let them sort of go yeah exactly like exactly. and i'm i feel like a lot of people just aren't even giving it a chance well like, but the thing is in order to let it go it's it's harder to do when you've already spent so much time with the main character it's hard to do and yes it's even harder because they're a little involved like mm-hmm. in the obviously they're the parents of the people yeah. mm-hmm. in right. the show but i like seeing them in this regard because 
it's like turning it on its head from when we were watching Naruto. It's like we know so much about these characters. It makes me wonder like what it was like watching Naruto, like anything Kakashi's been through, mm-hmm. or like really Minato, like mm-hmm. all these characters that are older and. I now understand their position in the previous. See, then there's also a lot of people who don't like it because they watched a couple of episodes here and there, saw some scenes, and saw how Boruto was treating Naruto. Which is fair. Which bothers everybody because Naruto is trying the best that he can. He's trying the best he can, but... And his son doesn't understand what he's already been through. Okay, but imagine Naruto treating the third Hokage that way. Right. Like it's it's, it, the it's, same it's, a, it's thing. a parallel. It, it really is. It is. It's um, it's it's literally paralleling so Naruto's actions. I've I've seen some Boruto and I've and I've I've enjoyed it because like I've accepted that it's it's about Boruto and his new squad. My my feeling that I don't know how long it's how well it's going to do is only based on the fact that part of the reason why in a way Naruto was explored was because of backstory type stuff mm-hmm. which they explained the whole history of all the nations combined basically with multiple kage which they still have a lot of kage they haven't talked about mm-hmm. stuff like that there's i'm sure there's some naruto nerds but oh wait they talked about everybody um yeah. not enough some not enough yeah uh, some not enough. In. <laughs> right need i need i need some more I need at least something about him because we've not seen him. Is that the third Hokage? Oh, okay. Yeah. We have not like we haven't seen everything. Before. Is just been people were rumors. saying that he is probably like the strongest. That's what everyone He's says. A fucking and gangster. And we have like, no, like, no like, examples or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like the, I think part part of the problem with Boruto though is that a lot of the backstory has been explained. That's true. And there's not going to be really these lurking enemies like Madara or something like that because if they were going to show up, they probably would have showed up. Um, yeah. And that, like, they, they also did the whole reanimation jutsu where they, like, summoned all these old dudes back. Mm-hmm. So I think th- the big thing is now um, is that they have to explore the backstory between what has happened between Shippuden and Boruto. Hey, back. Hello. Um, Hello. The like over like to co- in comparison with Madara, mm-hmm. the like overarching large bad guy that they're yes. worried about all right. yeah. is all the moon people. And then yeah. Mor- <laughs> Morris says, "Not watch Boruto yet. Who did Naruto hook up with? Sakura or Hinata? Hinata. 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 Ah, that's not fun. Just that's make the, it fun. We should have said Sakura. Five, <laughs> it's the episode five hundred. They finally get hitched. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and really, it's and Sakura got sweet. with yep. Sasuke yeah. Yeah. in a way. Yeah, they have this weird relationship where they made a baby and he left. Oh, oh. it sounds like someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it was totally Sakura's kid. Like father? <laughs> it is, though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, they explored that. They in explored Boruto, that. They and really it was did. great. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... I think for me, uh, for underrated anime, uh, I mean, it's kind of like a tie between two. And it's mostly just because not as many people watch them, and that is Durarara and Bakano. I like those a lot just because they're like a very unique themed kind of anime where it's it's a mystery thriller, and they usually like um, they they explore it in a way of like everything is told backwards. Mm-hmm. So they'll show stuff that's happened like really really late, and then they'll do the next episode which is actually like a previous episode and stuff like that and they kind of explain like who's this dude and then like the next episode they're like this is how they got on the train and they're like what <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, they're like wait this dude's dead right and then they're like wait is he alive or is he not alive and because it kind of jumbles up the whole story and then by about um, I, th- I think about halfway or three quarters of the way you're like oh so this is the whole timeline it's a puzzle in it's own way and I like oh. that because it's like multiple plot twists that is really cool yeah um, so any other underrated anime um Jesus Timmy and I were talking oh I was asking before the show started um, I would argue that Goblin Slayer is underrated even if it got a lot of attention in the first episode, I would argue that's why it's underrated. Is because a lot of people watched the first episode and then dipped. Yeah. When they saw that, yeah. when they saw that scene, mm-hmm. but then when you continue to watch, 
nothing like the first episode at all ever, ever comes happens. close to being like that. It, and I kind of, even though it fizzled out near the end, I liked I liked all the characters. I they were really cool characters. They had a good sto- a lot of them had good stories behind them. I was rallying behind them. I mm-hmm. I enjoyed all of it, but yeah. I I would want to see a season two if it ever came out. I don't know if it will. I, I feel like movies coming out. Um, what movies coming out? Oh okay. <laughs> Uh, for Goblins there, like, it's one of those anime, like, similar to Attack on Titan, where it goes 0 to 100 real quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, in comparison, Attack on Titan kind of always kind of keeps that theme in a way, because it's it's a horror in a way, because they are, the Titans are always there, and, they're, and humanity's on its back foot. Right? right. Whereas Goblin Slayer, Goblins and, like, the whole, I guess, arc, um, they, humans kind of underestimate goblins right. in a way mm-hmm. of, of, of how they act and stuff like that but realistically they're like an actual problem right yeah. they go around destroying villages and stuff so like someone has to deal with it yeah um, so and after it goes 0 to 100 it kind of backs off and it's really similar to a D&D campaign yeah, it really no, is. that that's how the whole thing like they, it was specifically set up. Like there was like a little intro in one episode where it was like the gods roll dice over and over. It is exactly it was a hundred percent meant to be like a D and D world, like a reference. At yeah, least. a reference. Yeah, yeah. Which I, it's uh, really convenient for us because we really started getting in D and D around that time. Yeah, and also mm-hmm. just goblins, like, goblins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, goblins. and and Goblin Slayer was like the one like side character that all the the players created and really liked so he ended up getting insane luck oh, and, really? yeah that was like never i don't know if it was explicitly ever said but that was like the, the intent origin. the intent of him being created yeah uh, i do like how he's kind of like the a side person in this whole world and how there's like actual heroes mm-hmm. that barely get mentioned and you just see them like fight the actual big boss and then come back at the end is like, like oh those trio. there's this one guy that handled and they were talking amongst themselves and they're like oh there's this one guy that handled some goblins for us and they're like oh cool yeah and, then, <laughs> and like it's acknowledged amazing. him a little bit but it's amazing on how we all want to see goblin slayer fight more than these crazy heroes fighting nah, like the, the ogre nah, champions i want to see that wizard that speaks really slow because apparently uh, yeah when she speaks <laughs> oh yeah her enchanting oh i want to see her fight like for real i want to yeah. see her go that, that's, 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 it's, yeah. it's interesting how that stuff like that conveys is that you know certain characters like they're side but at the same time like when they finally appear you're like I've been wondering what this person does <laughs> yeah. if they're really all talk or not you know mm-hmm. and then it turns out that dude with like the lance and stuff that we're all like oh yeah just some pushover right and, like, he no. actually does work yeah <laughs> no that's what I thought like I thought he was a high level adventurer that we just never got to see fight so I'm glad we at least got to see one one scene mm-hmm. Zach, do you have an underrated anime? Something that uh, is either not not as watched as much, or you feel that people just don't like it, and you do, and they're misjudged. Or forgotten. A forgotten anime. That's true. Um, Those are good ones. I feel like a lot of people turn away from the Monogatari series because of its art style. Mm-hmm. I can see that. And I, I really like the story telling of it, and all the character development. I just like how different it is. It's very different. Yeah. It's just unique. It's like mm-hmm. that's what stopped me from Dog and Ropa. Man, Dog and Ropa is so good though. Like it I, is so good. It's, it it's so up. hard for me to watch because like it in a way is very very I guess random. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. but it's just like every character has like their own art style and it messes with me so much and I'm just like man I just can't. Oh, okay. Like, that's what that's what actually attracts me to that anime. Yeah. It's just seeing all these different characters. This big buffed up girl. Yeah. That looks like she's gonna f you up, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she's actually real sensitive. <laughs> it's just like. Um. But yeah, I, I think that that's pretty good. On underrated anime. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So now, if you could pick any anime that has stopped, are we doing or, one person per one one anime per? That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. All right. That needs a new season. Now, like it would come out in the oh. next five minutes. Mine, mine's easy. Mine too. Mine's real easy. Do, do we want to say Are it together? We, one, two, three. No, no game, no, no life. life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing. That's how great No Game the actual series are. They're still making money off of Zero, for God's sake. I know. So oh, hell yeah, they are. they're not gonna do second seasons until they squeeze every last drop from Zero. No, they're not. I, I, I guess I gotta watch it. 
It, dude, it's so good. Okay. So I yeah, watched it like three times. It's so send good. Send it forward, bro. Yeah. I, had, I demand another season of One Punch Man. Isn't it currently yeah. running a season? I oh, yeah. another more, season. It, it's <laughs> High School of the Dead. It's going to end on Tuesday. Oh, cool. nice. Nice. Okay. Purple Chick for the win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, I, I think I, I would like to see more Death Parade. But I would like to see a Death Parade one. Yeah. That'd be um, cool. I also wouldn't mind seeing a Matsumune Kun. No, actually, revenge. I'm going to change my answer. There's an anime that came out called Gangsta. And what happened was there are they they were made by the same production company as the people who did Samurai Champloo. They had an awesome like it was so beautiful. It was great, great backstory for characters. It was really early in like I think their first or second season, and they kind of ran out of money, so it stopped like middle of the story, yeah. and it sucked. And I was like, damn it, because it had so much potential. I think mm-hmm. that it deserves. Um, a little bit more notoriety and because I think like right around now um, it's getting no, like noticed more like I'm starting to see like gangsta fights pop up yeah. on top anime fights and stuff like that mm-hmm. um, but I, I think that that deserves at least the rest of its first season if not a second season High Score Girl that's on my list I'm going to try and watch that Mm. High Score Girl? High Score Girl. It's a Maybe newer maybe. anime. It's it's kind of like... Correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sorry if I am wrong, but it's basically about a girl who is in an arcade consistently um, and teams up with this dude, and she's constantly beating at games, and it's yeah. apparently a really cool story, but I, haven't, cool. I don't know too much about it. That's different. Yeah. Um, was anybody else... I don't know if I got confirmed for a new season or not, but um, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. It is. It is. Um, oh, sweet. It is. Sweet. It is. Sweet. It is. Yeah. 2020. It is. Uh, I also want another Dungeon. Overlord. And Don okay. Machi is actually already coming another, out. Yeah. Another game. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Right on top of that. I believe Overlord's confirmed, but they don't have a date. They don't have a date yet. Yeah. Which means it's not confirmed. Zach, yeah. is, there a, <laughs> is there another anime that you want to see? I kind of want another season of Owari. Oh, Owari okay. Sarah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. She's dead. She's like not she's dead. dead. Like she, she's she can't be dead. She's dead. She she's can't not be. Dead. So have you felt like you ran into an anime where you're at first you're like, man, I don't think I'm gonna like this, and then ended up liking it anyways? Uh, Made in Abyss. Made but, in Abyss. Because it looks like a children's story. It did. It, it really. Did. And I'm like, there's nothing that I'm gonna appeal to this story. Like there's children. And the, the other guy is a robot. Like, what the heck am I going to get this out of? Nah, I was completely wrong. I think for me, it would be New Sequoia. Because I was just like, I'll do it. You'll do it just to appease me, and then... <laughs> and then I was like, okay, it's all right. I appreciate it. And then, I, in a way, it wasn't finished, right? Because they had a lot of... Ex- no, nah, and it's not going to get finished. Yeah, because the, the manga was finished. The manga right? is finished, yeah. But uh, the anime, they never did. So. Alex, really or Ben? I can't really think of one. I'm, I'm saying I think, yeah. I enjoy um, most animes I watch. Yeah. I no, I, I, I would I, say you're lie. I was kind of worried about that. Because no, it was different? But that's now one of my favorite anime. It was way different. Mm-hmm. I think I just enjoy... I just have a lower or a threshold of enjoying things more. Like, I'm not, like, super picky. Like, I just... As long as it has, like, a mm-hmm. decent story that I can follow, like, I'm, I'm game to watch it. Same. I'm not gonna dip out after, like, X amount of episodes or anything. Right. I'm gonna see it through. <laughs> I'm still in that aspect. Zach, do you have any that you're like, man, I don't know if I should watch this, and then, you know, oh, this is actually pretty good. Um... I actually have a couple. Uh, Beyond the Boundary was something that someone recommended to me. I really didn't think of much of it at first, and then I got into it. I was like, oh, it's actually pretty well made. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not the best, but, you know. Um, and then Erased, for one. I-, I thought of another one for myself, and that is Hunter Hunter. At, oh, yeah. At first, I was like, man, this is like a bunch of kids and stuff like that. And I was, was like, holy... Bullshit. Oh, they're actually badass kids. Fuck. Um... <laughs> I, one for me, I guess, would be um, Sword Art. I like. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I didn't think it'd be cool. But then, mm-hmm. like after the first two or three episodes, I was like, "No, this is the shit." Yeah. yeah. Like, shit. And then it goes back to what you thought. It, would be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, it gets killed really quick. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh! I will say, my hero. If Azuku had continued his personality like he was at the very, very beginning, before he got 
uh, One for All. Mm-hmm. I don't think I would have liked the show as much. He See, was, he was it a little freaks too, me out every time he says Izuku because I was like, Izuku. I only know him as Midoriya. <laughs> I'm like... Midoriya. <laughs> Midoriya. Midoriya. <laughs> Yeah, that's his first name, but you call him Midoriya. Yes. Midoriya. <laughs> um, yeah. I, yeah. The, no, yeah. That that's all I have to say. Just if he was, because he was just whiny the whole time, and I was like, oh god. But I, you fell for him, man. He had no quirk. Everybody else got that nice quirk, and the dude. I I felt for him. I just it was a grating to hear his voice like very whiny the whole time, and. I did rally behind him eventually, obviously, but yeah. it took it took a couple episodes of that to sink in. I think that's what made those characters great, though. Yeah. yeah. Side note, I just determined the lag on my phone, what we're doing to the stream. Yeah. It's a 20-second lag. Is it? Nice. Yeah. That did, like, this, and I timed it. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because there's... there's uh... There, there is latency because you can't have like a perfect in, like independent oh. stream. It's just a, in terms of chat that's and stuff the like one that. I didn't understand. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> for myself. Yeah, that's oh. that's just part of streaming and stuff like oh, that. Is that it. there's always a fifteen. It's oh. usually set as a fifteen second delay, but individual mm-hmm. latency makes it even longer. But yeah. so when, if you guys were to like type something in, it usually takes a second. But no, I get the 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 chat right away. Oh it's, yeah. Everything is just the video. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's how, how Twitch streaming works. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, growing up anime, um, I, well, did you say something? Mine says four, four and, and a half seconds. seconds. Oh. Okay. I think it's different for everyone. Yeah. yeah. But, I guess it depends on the internet. Step your game up. the lucky one. Yeah. <laughs> Step your um, game up, man. But, like, I, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in the boonies. Come on. <laughs> uh, so growing up anime, um, what, what is some anime that you kind of, like, started off, like, growing up with? Because that maybe something that you didn't know that was anime growing up. Because, like, at first, I was like, Dragon Ball Z is Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought That's... those were cartoons, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, it, it gets, like, blurry when you get into things like Avatar Last Airbender <coughs> and... Um, I consider that was, anime. Like, Teen Titans. And Pokemon. Teen Titan. and Pokemon's anime. anime. Yeah. Like, yeah. because I would say growing up, Anime Pokemon. is like Pokemon, Teen Titans, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, like yeah. I watch those constantly. Right. And then eventually, when I started watching Toonami, Naruto, and then Beyblade. So Beyblade, <laughs> Beyblade. Beyblade. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, don't forget about that. Oh, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Where you cheat the entire game. So it's interesting because like we don't know it's anime until like I think. We, we get that little acknowledgement, or when we're exposed to the culture, I think is the big thing. Transformers and Thundercats. I oh, agree yeah. with that too. Yeah. Transformers <laughs> with the mini bots. Mm-hmm. Oh, bruh. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, Armada. That yeah. is Transformers Armada. What's Thundercats really anime? I don't, I don't know. What's Thundercats? It's like Thundercats what? is um, a very old TV show. Um, it they would. They eighties, nineties. I I think it was like oh. at least. At least early nineties, yeah, and uh, they were led by like they, the they king, which was Lionel. Okay. And they were all, in a way, furries. They were all yeah, so cats. They were all cats. They're oh. all cat people. Yeah. Um, uh, except for they came like, out with a new version though. So they would also go against like are. lizard people. <laughs> They'd go against like a mummy. Yeah. Mumra. Anyone remembers the Mumra. 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 They were frequent on that? What was that, out, uh, Zach? If anyone remembers Robot Chicken, they were frequent on that. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I consider like Timmy. What, what's it? Family All Parents. That's a cartoon. Jimmy yeah. Neutron. That's a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so, true. You know, like I think Thundercats was done in the United States. That so would be technically considered just a cartoon. Yeah, but well, Funimation is an animation. Animation was that? Hannah it wasn't Barbera? through Funimation though. This oh, was right. before Funimation even became a company. Right. What was Thundercats made by Bar- uh, Hanna Barbera? No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. I think it was Warner Brothers, or, but I don't think it was Hanna Barbera. I think if it was, I felt me, like I felt like Hanna Barbera was doing everything. They did everything. They did time. Looney Tunes. They did everything. Yeah, oh, that's I, for sure. I, I think if it was made by Warner Brothers and Hanna Barbera, I, I think it is considered a cartoon, in a way. Yeah. Um, and then you can get the that Tobin Americanized Wolf anime. By oh. Rankin and Bass Productions. Mm. Oh. Yep, I know that. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like at the same time, like 
we don't really realize it's anime until we kind of reach a certain point, and then we're like, wait a second, there's a whole culture about this. Mm, yeah. All this anime. Oh, my people. All, all this stuff <laughs> that I've been watching uh, has actually been originated from Japan. Like, because originally I didn't know that DBZ and Pokemon came from Japan. Yeah, mm. I didn't either. Mm. And I was like, holy crap! Ulysses 31 is what Morris Minor says. Ulysses 31. What is that? Oh, is that another uh, uh, cartoon anime? A studio. Or, um, but for me, like, showing my age. Cowboy Bebop <laughs> and, and DBZ, it's a lot of tsunami stuff. Um, oh, it is an anime. Oh, cool. He says show my age, but I say call. I call that experience. It's a French <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> anime. It's a French Japanese. Anime. Look at that. That's Ooh. cool. Um, and this dude's got a dope ass beard. Like, <laughs> we gotta watch Whoa. this. <laughs> and he got an eight point one. Yeah, that looks like Ryder. <laughs> and then there's oh, like, yeah, it looks really. like Jesus in space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that looks like that reminds me of. Uh, was it it this? was pretty sweet. All right, oh, we'll have yeah. to check that out. Definitely. Um, yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And, and then, like, we'll eventually have to revisit stuff, like, later, you know. And that's when we start to, like, really appreciate it. In a way, I like the art style back then than I do now. Because yeah. I feel like now it feels a little cut and pasty. Mm-hmm. And, but back then, there was, like, a lot of detail that well, they put in. Well, okay, that goes into, we have more technology now. They can cut and paste. I know. They, like, yeah. they literally had to draw it back then. Mm-hmm. You know? So, I mean, I see where you're, co- I agree. Yeah. It's just, I think that's just a... Uh, conflict of I mean I feel like a lot of animes now like you could take off like the hair and everyone would look exactly the same yeah that's fair going to HD was weird at first yeah (laughs) I I can bet because it's like they it's very it's a really clean look but it's not detailed Mm -hmm. I will say because I I watched Code Geass Mm mm-hmm uh, before Code Geass, it was like everything mainstream. Then I watched Code Geass, and I was like, I do not like this art style. I, like people got long legs, long arms, small heads, round, legs. round, very narrow chin. Yeah, well, and like, then and it that, grew on me. Big yeah. eyes. Yeah, they could poke an eye out with their chin. Yeah, uh, and at that point, I'm like, you know what? I could Code Lyoko. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! Wow, that's a throwback. <laughs> the beginnings of CGI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>